This is the Apple Vision Pro. This is my friend Kane, and he just spent a whopping 3,500 plus tax to buy this VR headset from Apple. We're gonna try to do some craft design on this. Maybe use Photoshop, Illustrator. That's the biggest Apple box I've seen in a while. This is not a satisfying Apple experience. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What? It's not even packaged. It's just right there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that is wild. I like the little front case. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I hope this is a giant Apple sticker. Oh my god. So this is the Apple Vision Pro. We've been waiting for this to come out for a little bit here. And, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna try to use this today for graphic design. I'm a graphic designer, that's what this channel is about. Maybe we can get Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop going and see if this is actually practical because there's been a lot of hype around it, but I don't know if it's really worth it. So let's get right into it and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. This is um, Kane's bedroom. <laughs> From my perspective, it's not exactly like the real world, but it's pretty dang close. You can definitely tell that you're looking, oh, there's the homepage. You can definitely tell you're looking at a computer. Like it's definitely a screen, but it's pretty realistic. So how this thing works basically is you look around with your eyes and whatever your eyes are looking at, that highlights what you're gonna click on. And then you tap your fingers together to click. And then I can grab this and kind of move it around. I've been messing with this for like an hour now, so I've gotten a little bit used to it, but it's still kind of crazy. Next thing are these environments. So if you don't want to be in the real world anymore, let's do the moon. Whoa. Okay, I'm fully on the moon right now. Jeez. Oh, my hands. That's cool, I can even check my watch. So I'm just gonna see what we can do to design in this thing. We got Freeform pulled up. Can I draw? Whoa. That actually works really well. It feels like I'm like one of those orchestra people. Let me see how big I can make this thing. Whoa, God. This is crazy. Grayson's graphics. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. This thing's kind of giving me a headache. It's like way too big. How do I escape the moon? Back to the real world, please. If I look at my computer down here. Oh, there's a connect button. This is my laptop screen mirrored now into here. Venice is so wild. I will say everything that they hyped this thing up to be was not far from the truth. So now I can use my keyboard and mouse and it's literally just Adobe Illustrator. Let's see what we can make. Unless I look down, I can't see the keyboard. First impression right now is I don't know if I would want to sit in this and do graphic design. <laughs> Maybe that will change. I don't think the sharpness is as sharp as I would want it to be for craft design work. Like this text right here is a little blurry. Move my window back here. I'm just trying to figure out how to get comfortable, honestly. About seven months ago, I made a video when the Apple Vision Pro was announced with my initial reactions. And one of the things that I thought would be really cool for it is the concept of like, let's say you're designing a billboard. Could you design it to be the same size as a billboard in this? Instead of looking at this small 13 inch laptop, could you make it do 50 feet? in here, and I think you could. Right now I have it to about 12 feet across, but again, it's limited by the scale of the room. So let's try to design something that takes up this whole thing. I am so happy I'm getting to use this thing right now. <laughs> this is wild. Been seeing what's by an impressive. Kind of getting used to it now. This is me designing a 12 foot poster on my laptop, which is obviously not 12 feet. And then this is me designing a 12 foot poster in the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna see if we can make a logo. So my vision cuts off about right here. So I kind of have to look down if I want to see the keyboard. Okay, I've got pen tool. So far, it's feeling actually pretty good. I'm kind of getting used to it. 
it's still like a little blurry, which is kind of difficult with this detail and sort of design. Okay, let's make a little like text-based logo for the Vision Pro. Using a laptop, using a keyboard and the trackpad is actually really handy with this. Looking down constantly is kind of weird. So we got our Vision Pro little icon here and then the text. I'm gonna go to object, envelope to sort, make with top objects. <laughs> Wait, I know what I wanted to do. Okay, that's like a quick little Vision Pro logo right there made on the Vision Pro itself. Workflow on here is pretty cool. It's not too bad, honestly. It took a second to get used to it, but I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, I think I could sit here at work. At first, I had my doubts because it's a different experience, but being in here, it's actually really easy. I think I want to go back to this size of screen ever again. Wow, this is like way better. So I can put the entire laptop to the side now, and I can just use the Vision so this is Adobe Firefly. This is Adobe's AI image to text generator. So you can kind of type in whatever you want and it will generate an image from scratch. So you don't have to do all that fancy graphic design stuff. Let's type in, what's that? A deer or something? A moose wearing headset. This typing is actually really good. <clears throat> Whoa, that looks pretty dang good. So I made it about this up the wall here. I wonder if I can lower the opacity. Let me try to paint a wall. Oh my God, that's the actual wall. This is graffiti if I've ever seen it. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my God. I wanna see how big the windows can get. Dude, it can be billboard size. Hold on, let me put it over here. Wow. Dude. Oh my God. God, that is insane. And can I draw on this? No way. You see the green tree that's not dead? It's from there to behind your shed. And I'm drawing a canvas that size. Holy crap. Oh my God. It just came at me. It's confined to the limitations of your space. Literally right now it's confined because I'm, I'm hitting that branch. So I've got a window over here now that's just a giant like video of mine playing. And then over here I've got Adobe Firefly where I can do text to image. I'm gonna pull up Freeform, put that over there. Dude, this is getting kind of insane now. I don't know what to say. You gonna cry? I'm about to cry. The grandma that gave me this at the Apple store said she cried when she put it on. I am getting a major headache. Okay guys, this was just a super quick demo of the Vision Pro and what it can do for graphic design. I am kind of mind blown, honestly. I think there's probably a lot more use cases for this than I even can come up with right now. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, let me know. We'll try to do some more Vision Pro videos for a little while while we've got it. This is incredible hit the subscribe button hit like let me know what you want to see me do graphic design wise in the vision pro and i'll do it for you so you can take a look i'll see you in the next video